they're saying and they know what they're saying to you. They know Nigerians likes to show all <laughs> After relaxing and chillaxing, um, you know, thoughts just begin to come into my mind. Yesterday, I went to um, Dubai. I went to the Gold Souk in Dubai. Um, I'll show you the vlog, or you might have seen the vlog by the time you watch this. And um, I've always noticed and realized this, but you know, sometimes some things comes out of my observation and what I think, you know. I inside the, the gold shops or wristwatch shops, I think it was a wristwatch shop because I went I went in there. Me, my hobby and my sister in law went in there to um, buy some wristwatch or to have a look whichever. And um, most shops in the gold soup or in Dera are owned by like, you know, Asians, um, Indian, Pakistani, you know, name it. And I find their customers are predominantly um, Africans, especially Nigerians. They are Nigerians. And these people are good. They have a good business acumen from my observation. What they are doing, um, we Nigerians can do it. But I think we Nigerians, we're not as good as the, these Asian people. Their intrapreneurial skills is on point. They're very, very good. And, um, and I'm saying this because we got in, even though I've been to that shop before some years ago, um, they recognized us or recognized my husband. And um, basically, each shop we go into, sorry, I'm up and down, but it's coming back to me as I lay down here and I reminiscing thinking and each of the show um, every staff in there understand Yoruba understand Igbo understand Awusa not just understanding they can speak it they can speak it they listen to our music they watch our movies um, and this is all business tactics because as soon as we enter that wristwatch shop I'll put a clip in here so that you can see they started singing, they started singing. At one point they were using my name, they just asked me, what is your name? And you say, Kemi. And they <laughs> And um, in a way, you will not get out of that shop. You just remain with them, stay with them and you will end up buying something even if you don't want to buy something because in a way they've captured your attention um the few nigerians that step into that shop that particular shop as soon as you enter that shop and decide singing or and decide speaking in yoruba fluently they might not speak it um with the right accent but you can hear what they're saying and they understand what they're saying and they know what they're saying to you so as soon as they started speaking and singing, they've captured the attention. We sat down. It's like in a way you had you have no choice than to look at what they've got to offer. And I was thinking to myself that these people, they study us real well, and I mean real well. They study us real well. They know exactly what we want. As in, they know exactly what we like. We Nigerians like, and that need these people are always available to meet it and they meet it nicely if i was just thinking if and nothing against nigerian i am nigerian myself i just need to clarify that if a nigerian was was to own that shop we might end up not buying anything or you, we might just go into the shops and walk out or and they seem to be having so much customer because of these little, little tactics. Singing, speaking in your language. Um, it's like 
getting involved in what you're doing and that means they show interest even if that is not their goal but the way they place themselves is is fascinating it's, it's nice it just works what they've done there is they've captured their attention and you end up buying something and I'm thinking if a Nigerian is to own that shop a Nigerian will not have as much customer I'm serious Nigeria will not have as much customers because I don't think a Nigerian will go out of their way if they're to be selling to maybe an Italian if they have an Italian customers or they have like a Turkish customers but they have like a Spanish customers and I think this is also a learning process the thing that I I I just kind of learned I observe and I felt like that is a lesson there if you observe and that is a lesson there that is something we Nigerians can tap into if we have something to offer or we have something to or we have any kind of business um, to do with a foreign um, customer or foreign people I think um, it works well and it works good if we learn the people's culture we know what they like and the more they tap into our culture the more they learn the more they provide or they meet our needs so there are some people that do believe that Africans or Nigerians are like Donald Trump said and in a way I can't blame that man please if you want to come for me in my comment section go easy on me it's my opinion and I'm sharing it like Africans are great consumers but they, they don't produce they can consume but they don't produce and in a way there's a bit of truth in that it's not hundred percent true but there's a bit of truth in that because I find that in that daira 70% in that gold so-called and the daira market area in Dubai 70% of their customers are Africans 70% of their customers are Nigerians and these are things we Nigerians ourselves could produce for ourselves. I mean, not only would they boost our economy, increase employment in Nigeria, in Nigeria, or we could like, these are like thoughts coming into my head, or we could have some kind of arrangement with the Dubai Authority where, but I don't know, I don't know, I doubt, I don't know if they were allowed, but if they, if they could allow the Asian people to do to trade and do business in that part of Dubai I think they will it's just that somebody haven't thought of, thought of it we Nigerians can but then again there's this question of um, do we believe in ourselves because we have I don't think we really value ourselves or we really um, believe in ourselves. and I really don't blame Nigerians for not because when we talk about the Igbo made the Igbo made um, other African countries patronize them you know goods made in Aba and stuff yes I do agree they are low qualities they are low qualities but the government could support could aid these people because it's a good thing that they're producing them even though they're not good qualities but it would also be better if our government could support them and they could be one of the great producers in the world just like you China know this I say one thing and I think I'm gonna do a, a, a separate video on that about these Igbo people or Igbo people it got me thinking and thinking real deep that I mean <laughs> What we do, what we come here to do is to spend money. What about coming here to make money? What about having that section? Because these people really, they know what we like. They will know what we like. They know what our needs are. They know Nigerians likes to show off. And sorry if I offend any Nigerians watching me. They know we like the gold. We like to celebrate. We like to, we like the party. We're quite loud. And it, all of these needs are being met by these Asian people and they, they, they didn't just meet it like they would do something extra they're not just meeting it like oh i'm selling your penny they're showing you that they, i have an interest in your country they're showing you like i have i have an interest in your culture they're showing you that i i i love you i love your people even if they don't love you because i, I anyway i keep this opinion to myself but i i don't think the interests and the, the the affection they show is that they i think it's a business strategy but it works it works you can't help but to fall in love with them but to like them if you don't even fall in love with them you feel entertained i felt really entertained in that shop it was nice um i felt entertained i really felt i felt entertained. i feel at home i feel at ease 
there's no way you will go into those type of shops and you will not buy something. I think we Nigerians, we need to think, we need to change our mentality, wow. we need ambitious. To. We need to um, look outside the box when we're thinking of starting our own business. We need to look for things we can do. We need to look what is. Asian people are doing that, 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 that is working for them. Maybe we could tap into that or maybe we could do what they are doing. I mean, it's, it's sad when I think about it. Hi, everyone, let's go. Okay, guys, that's about it um, for today. I'm just sharing the thoughts on my mind. I mean, it's worth sharing. <laughs> I paused a bit to go by the, right by the beach. I can see my daughter picking something. I don't know what she was picking, but I went to the back home. But yeah, I just said, I should share my thoughts. And we're heading back to the hotel now. It's getting dark. The beach is dark. Um, let me do a 360 degrees. Thank you.